Now that the image is cleaned up and saved, your next step is to start adding your lighting fixtures. First of all, let's zoom out by pressing F9. Take a look at the image and decide what it is that you want to do. If you want to put some path lights in here along the walkway, if you want some up lights going on the side of the house here, and we want to replace the light that we took out there. So knowing that, we have to start somewhere. Let's start at the top here and add the light back in here. Now the program comes with hundreds of lighting fixtures, but of course the trick is finding the one that you want. To access the lighting fixtures, you go up here to Object Library and click on this button. You'll see here the different manufacturers. If I hold my mouse over Clarilux, you'll see the different types of lighting fixtures it has, and they're organized you know, by up lights, door lights, grill lights, specialty path lighting, etc. If we go to F Fex Luminaire, you have the same type of uh, categories under Kitchler. Uh, outdoor Lighting Perspectives, which is OLP. You have Commercial and Residential Lighting. And then we have Vista down here at the bottom. I know for a fact that the Kitchler ones, and I think it's the Outdoor um, category, has types of lights that will work here by the door. So as I scroll through the lights, you can see what they look like. Now to bring one up on the screen, let's find one first of all that we like here. All I have to do to bring up a light is double click on the light and it comes up on the screen. Now if I don't like the light that I pulled up, I could simply go up here to delete up here at the icon, which is delete, or press delete on the keyboard. It does the same thing and then just pick another light. Now to size the light down, let's minimize the library here. All I have to do is pick on one of the corners here, you see the little squares, and when my uh, cursor turns into the diagonal pointing arrow, I simply click on it and drag it down to the size I want it and release it. And Then I'm going to click on it again and bring it up here and get it to about the right size. Right about there looks good to me. Now, another thing you can do is I've placed this light in here by sizing it and moving it. If I want to try another light, another color, all I have to do is click on the light, drag it over the light, and you notice that the cursor is, is like a, a target here. It's got a crosshairs with a circle around it. When I bring it over the light, the area around it turns black so you can see there's no color and then when it turns black means I'm directly over the target I release my mouse and it changes it to a different lighting fixture so again I could simply click and drag it onto that lighting fixture that's there to try out different types now you notice these are a little bit wider and kinda stouter than these here which are long and skinny so when I first put in a shorter one and then put in a longer one it squeezes it into the size of the first one so this may not look right you're gonna have to stretch it out to get it to the right scale of this lighting fixture let's pull it in now you can see it's about right so now that I've got the lighting fixture in here let's scale it down a little bit that's all there is to it the lighting fixtures in there I could close this library and move on to the other fixtures now I'd like to put some path lighting in here. Let's actually zoom out so you can see the image better. I think we could use probably at least two lights on this side. One, two, three, maybe four on that side. So the next step is to find the path light that I want. Now again, if you use one of these manufacturers, you know exactly where to go and what to use. I'm going to try the path lights under FX Luminaire and these look pretty good to me so to bring in one of these lights all I have to do is simply double click on it and it brings it to the screen now I can click on it drag it into position let's put one here well, maybe too close right there's good and now I want to duplicate it so that I have more of them for over here so I go up here to the duplicate icon and you see that the cursor turns into two dots with an arrow so wherever I click I'm going to get another lighting fixture so put one there one here and one here now don't worry if they're not in the right place because you're going to pick them up and move them anyway the other thing to keep in mind is the light fixture might be the right scale down here because it's closer to where the picture was taken but off in the distance it looks huge so you want to size these down again grabbing the corner handles and getting them to the scale that looks good to you size this one down a little bit and this one here maybe just a little bit too 
So now I've got these. I want to put a couple over here. I'm just going to grab this one, duplicate it, and we'll put one here and one over here. And again, I want to scale this one down. So it's that quick and easy. Now, if you want to try out different lighting fixtures to see what it's going to look like, that's another step. Now, remember when I placed in this light here and I dropped different fixtures in there to change it, you have to have something close to the same size or it's going to change the size and the uh, aspect ratio of that thing you're dropping in. For example, this one here looks much shorter. So if I click and drag this one, to replace that one, you'll see that it actually becomes bigger. Still works, but then you'd have to adjust the size of it. The other thing too is you would have to go in and drag it onto each one of these and then again adjust the size. So you could do it that way. Or what you could do is you could grab all of these by taking your cursor and dragging it across the screen. They're now all selected and then go up here to object and go to group objects. Now they're all a group. So if I grab one of these now and I simply drag it on top of one of them, they all change at the same time. so it's a little bit faster but then again you're going to have to go in if you want to adjust the size of one individual you have to go back into object and go to ungroup objects and then you could go in and scale those down so keep that in mind there's a couple ways of doing it there's no right way or wrong way just knowing how it works after looking at all these I kinda of like the first one better so I'm just gonna switch all these out again As you can see, doing one at a time does take a little time. And now I'm satisfied with my path lights. I'm going to put in some up lights here. So now I'm going to close the path lights and we'll go back into the library and let's go to up lighting. And I want to pick something that's black. This one right here is already selected, so I'll double click that. It brings it to the screen. Again, I need to size it down place it where I want it and I want another one for this side so again I'm going to duplicate it now this light is kind of pointing the wrong direction so I want it to point towards the house I click on flip horizontal and you can see it changed its direction so now I'm going to put a couple more in here again I'll go to duplicate and I'm going to put one back in here and again it's going to be sized down and that's going to be shining on the house here and we want one more over here and let's make this one a little bit bigger and again I'm going to flip it the other direction so now I have in my up lights as well as my path lights and again I'm not really sure the size of these so you know, if you know what size they are, size them down so that they look about right in perspective. Now I'd like to show you a couple tricks on how to put in well lights. First, we must find the well lights. So we'll go up here to our library icon. I'm going to go to Vista and I'm going to go to well and in ground. And as you can see, there's quite a collection of well lights here. Let's get something that matches these. So I'll pick the brown one here. I'm going to zoom in, so I'm going to press F10. Now, you'll notice that this light, if I was going to place it over here by the edge, is kind of at the wrong angle. I'm seeing too much of the top of the light because it would be laying down in the ground. So what you need to do is to warp that light. To do that, you go up here to the warp tool and you'll want to click on horizontal because it ties the handles on the top together. So as I bring this down, you'll see it looks like this light is flattened. Now, the other thing you need to know is after you've warped something, you really can't go in and size it. So I'm going to show you how that works. So I click OK, and basically this light looks great, right perspective, but it's the wrong size. So if I go in here to size it, you'll see you lose the warp. So the moral of the story is size it down first, then go into warp, and then click on horizontal, and then warp that light. 
So if I wanted to create another one for over here, again I'll duplicate it, place it over here, but if I need to size it down, again watch what happens when I size it, it loses the warp. So you have to go back in and warp it again. But that's all there is to it. So we'll zoom back out. But I really didn't want these lights in the image. I just wanted to show you how to do it. So I'm going to delete them by clicking on them and pressing the delete key. Okay, basically I'm done. So my next step is to save this image as a JPEG to bring it into the lighting effects program. So to do that, I'm going to go up here to file. I'll click on save as. And this time I'm going to make sure it's a JPEG file. And this is not the tutorial. I'm going to call it with lights. So I'll click save. 